Okay, welcome students. We're going to talk about Unit 1, Lesson 5, which is the last section in Unit 1, Solving Multi-Step Equations. So our goal overall is to get the variable alone. Now, however, in order to do that, what we want to do is we want to get all the letters to one side and we want to get all the numbers to the other side. And it doesn't matter if you do the left or the right, you just get to pick, okay? So some tips. The first thing is you want to distribute if there is parentheses and a number outside. So you'll see parentheses and a number in front or a negative sign, number in front. Okay, next remember we reverse the order of operations, so you're always going to add or subtract the terms that are by the variable using the inverse operations. And then last, we usually multiply or divide to isolate the variable. Okay, and I'll say usually because remember there are some exceptions. All right, so that's a good goal. All right, so let's look at the first equation. I've got four examples and they're all slightly different. So if I look, I've got a P term, a number. So I'll say letter, number, there's a letter and a number. And we're concerned with the equal sign. So I need to pick if I want my letters to the left or if I want to pick them to the right. And it doesn't matter. Some people move the smaller one. Some people always move it to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and just move the smaller term. So the opposite of 5p is subtract 5p. So you're going to line up your letters and check 5 minus 5 does cancel. Now be careful, when you bring this down, it's a negative 14. Don't forget your sign. 8p minus 5p is 3p. All right, so now I've got a number, a letter, and a number. So my letters are on the right side, so I have to move my numbers to the left side. So I have to move the 4. So the inverse is to subtract 4. So 4 minus 4 does cancel, so I know I did it correctly. Negative 14 and negative 4 is negative 18. All right, my last step, the 3 and the P are being multiplied, so the inverse is to divide. So P equals negative 6. All right, let's look at our second equation. I have a letter, a number, a letter, a letter, and a number. So this one, I want to combine these first. So you don't do the opposite, you do whatever they say. So 5p plus 3p is 8p. And then this problem turns into our first problem. So same thing, you pick if you want the letters to the left or the right. I'll go ahead and let's move them to the left this time. So I'm going to move the 8p by subtracting it. And there's really an imaginary 1 up there. So 8 minus 8 does cancel. 1 minus 8 is negative 7. And we'll bring all the other terms down. Don't forget that's a negative 8. So now my letter's on the left. I have to move the number to the right side. So we're going to add 1. So negative 7p equals negative 7. And our last step, these are being multiplied, so I divide by the same number I want to move. So p equals positive 1. All right, let's look at our third example. There's a set of parentheses, so I need to distribute the negative 2 to both terms. So the left side stays the same. Negative 2 times 1. Negative 2 times negative 7 is positive 14 in stays. And then this turns back into our first problem. So you decide if you want the letters on the left or the right. I'll go ahead and move the smaller number. So 34. And when you're showing your work, I should see some of these strategies. So if you make an error, I can help correct it in my comments. Now, my letter is on the right side, so I have to move the number to the left. So we're going to add 2. You always look in front to see 
what operation you need to do to move it. So 36 equals 9n. And then those are being multiplied, so we're going to divide. So n equals 4. All right, and the last one is about as complicated as it's probably going to get this section. So there's a negative in front of the first parenthesis, which is like a negative 1. So that's what we're going to multiply by both terms. So negative 1 times 1, negative 1 times 7. Now, careful, this is where the errors always happen. This is a negative 6 that we want to multiply. So negative 6 times negative 7, negative 6 times negative 1, equals 36. So now you can see I have numbers that I need to combine and I have letters that we combine and you don't do the opposite you do what they are. So this is negative 1 plus 42 which is 41 and then this is negative 7x plus 6 which is negative 1x. Okay so now you'll notice we only have the letter on the left, so I have to move the number to the right side. So the 41 is positive, so I'm going to subtract it. Remember, you always look in front. So this is negative 1x equals negative 5. And then the last step is you're going to divide by that negative 1. So x equals positive 5.